News of the Nobel Prize typically begins with a phone call from Stockholm. And this week, five Jewish American scientists received such a call informing them they had won the Nobel Prize, two in medicine and three in chemistry. One of the winners, Randy Sheckman, a professor at the University of California at Berkeley. Picked up the phone and uh, and the, you know there was a reassuring Swedish voice on the other end. <laughs> A Nobel Prize winner and after 30 years of research, an expert in how our body cells function. Randy Sheckman has devoted his life's work to unlocking the mystery of the traffic control system that carries hormones and other chemicals from cell to cell. Materials are held in tiny bubbles called vesicles, which secrete them into the surrounding environment. Sheckman started studying yeast genetics at UC Berkeley in 1976. Though I had no experience in this, I was uh, full of confidence, perhaps too, too much confidence. I wrote my first federal grant and um, was uh, rebuffed. By isolating yeast mutations, Sheckman could interrupt cellular travel patterns, shedding light on diseases like diabetes and Alzheimer's that are linked to deficient transport systems. My example is one of many where uh, a, a, a passion for understanding the basic processes of life leads to application in ways that cannot be anticipated. His findings have already had a major impact on the biotech industry. Today, a third of human insulin is produced by yeast. At a time when funding for biomedical research is being eroded by federal budget cuts, Sheckman is calling for continued government support. Mine is only the latest example of many where undirected basic science and public investment in that science leads directly to uh, to application of, of tremendous value for health and, uh, and um, j just for the financial well-being of this country. Congressional cutbacks have pushed U.S. scientists to focus on research with immediate practical applications. Sheckman and other Nobel laureates say it's important for the government to continue funding basic science as well. This is Rachel Silverman for JN1 in Berkeley, California.